ready. Pump. 525 works pretty good. Yeah, so today we're draining my gas tank because. Still, I have a tank too, Tim. We're going to install a new rear well, differential, gonna, new bracket. We're going to pull the tank out. And we're pulling out the tank. And we're just going to save this gas for the new gas tank that I put in. Well, the 85. Things flowing. Oh, hey, Tim. Hey, I can, um, we don't even have to mess with your fuel sender. I'll just give it to DJ, and we can keep your pump that you have. Fine. Yeah, and we'll just we'll just redo the new one. Look at so this you thing. Got a brand new pump. It's like a freaking. It's like a tidal wave. Fireman's water hose. Dude, it's already two and a half gallons. That's pretty quick. When I, when I was doing it on Moses' car, it took way longer. See that, that five gallon with the stock pump? It took fucking, it was a long time. This Walbro 525 is just pumping. I'm not gonna be starving with any fuel anytime soon. It pumps like a jackrabbit. Probably good for 900 horsepower, if I didn't know better. Hey Red, what are you up to, man? Bumping up the new bracket. The version two. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, this is the this is the rear diff that we uh, we locked the clutch pack. So this should be nice with the viscous coupler. install that after we get this done. Yeah, this bracket looks pretty nice. Put some bolts right here. A lot easier to install these bolts on this one. Got way more room. And then uh, I made sure that these bolts were actually like a, like a Honda thread pitch, 12 by 125. And then this half inch stuff. Nice and tight. Yeah. Don't have this thing moving nowhere. That thing's solid. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. Here, let me grab you know, my kind of bolts over here. Give me a little 360 of that, please. What? Spin it around for me. That thing looks legit. Yeah, now we just have to, uh, just have to get my vice grip. I think it's behind you. So this is going to go inside the trunk. It's going to sandwich in the trunk? Yeah, so what I'm going to do right now... So I'm gonna get out my drill and I'm gonna I'm gonna 
gonna drill some two matching holes so that uh, it's ready to go once we mount it up to the car. And then we just have to uh, drill some holes in the, in the, in the trunk area. Pilot holes, we're gonna make some bigger holes. Okay, you know, I think I'm gonna just go for the big boy. Half inch. What are we doing here, Red? Uh, time to drop the gas tank. Here, jack this up. Get in the middle. 
just to support it. I don't want this thing falling on my face. Of course not. It's empty, so we should be good. I think that's it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so there's only really four bolts. It's actually super easy. And then, yeah, that's that's all we need to do. No. There you go. You see how it came down already? Yep. Okay. Man, last time I did this, I was by myself. Ooh. A lot easier with an extra set of hands. Yeah. Just uh, pretty much four bolts, two straps. Well, it's actually one, one complete strap. Yeah. And it's only one piece. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Let it go. Let it go, T. I'm dropping it. Oh, yeah, I see it's empty. Nice. Oh, here. Push it back up a little bit. Okay. I forgot. Still got a couple things hooked up up there still. Oh, the, the filler. Sender, the filler. The filler, no, no, the sender's fine. Okay. There's. Oh, this one actually has a screw. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, mine didn't. It's because I got an EX and you got a DX. No, it's because you changed this this tank before. Oh, yeah. You probably put a hose clamp on there. Yeah, mine, uh, I was driving on the freeway and something punctured it. Got it replaced. Not good. Yeah, it drained the entire tank in like five miles. Did you get home? Yeah, I got home. I, I was like, why the heck do I have Amani? And I went to go fill up my tank and I just saw the fluid squirting out the bottom. I was like, oh crap. So I just went home like two blocks later and uh, figured it out. Actually, here's one right here. This is the one I wanted. <laughs> here we go. Okay. okay, let it go. Dropper? Yeah, yeah, dropper. Dropping. Ooh, there goes that one. Wow, we got a lot more room now. Uh, there, I gotta unplug the. I gotta plug the sender here. Don't get up. Oh, same down. Well, get under there a little bit more. You're in my way. See how it's hanging right there? Yep. Drop right now. I'm sorry? Lift up the tank a little bit. More. Except for the uh, return and sending units, lines, yeah. Oh, I did. I did redo, redo those. Tim, here. You yeah. need to pull that. 
Pull it, pull it. Thank you, sir. Oh, and I think this is like part of the EBS wiring too. There you go, Tim. Now we got plenty of room for that rear diff, so. Sweet. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the cutting and drilling up to you. I did enough of that today. That's fine. Okay. I need to get my hands dirty today. That's fine. Look, what I need you to do. Yeah. Is I need you to this bracket needs to go, and then we need drill to, that we out. Need to, we need to cut like half of this right here, mm -hmm. and then drill this out, and then we'll be good. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Tim, almost there. Almost there. So we got these uh, holes drilled out. And we also trimmed. We also trimmed this little piece right here, both sides with the cutoff wheel. And we got these extra long bolts because they're gonna bolt up to our all-wheel drive bracket that we just finished. So we're gonna have to bolt this up. That yeah, come on, Tim. Yeah. Other part. Wait a second. Do the light. 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 Here. 
Ainda pelo menos. That thing is on there. Yeah, it's like super on. We're gonna push this closer to the body, so the upper mount can bracket. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's pretty much there though. We are super close. Oh man, I cut myself. It's like right there. Give me a second. Let me grab my. Let me grab my IT. I cut myself pretty good. That's what it is blood, sweat, and grease. Yeah. Dude, that thing is lining up perfectly. Is it touching the... Ooh, it's like almost there. Yeah, but that thing's not tight, so... Okay. Oh, it's like right there, dude. Yeah, we just need to poke the holes inside that and then... Give me a second. Sandwich it. Sandwich? You, get that? you like sandwiches? Yeah, we got that other plate, so it's gonna get sandwiched, that's why. What size are these uh, plates? Uh, it's quarter inch uh, plate seal. Yeah. Nice. This thing's super sturdy. See? Look, now it's like right up on there. Yeah. Okay. Grab the drill, Tim. Where's it at? Here. The holes are good. Okay, here. Sweet. Now here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the bolts through. Or here, here Tim, why don't you? I'll put the bolt through and use. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got that quarter inch sandwich plate in there. Yeah, so I think we're good. Um, we're gonna get those new axles ordered. Uh, we're gonna get some with an actual ABS ring. So uh, next time we'll throw those on. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.